earlier today was Casey FanCon. Uh, I don't remember what number it is. They have it once or twice a year around here out in North Kansas. So I went there with my brother. Been out there for a while. Um, got quite a bit. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you before I get to the comics is a uh, action figure. And Kind of been wanting for years. When it first came out, I really wasn't into the show then. I'm talking about Beast Wars. I watched it for a while, and uh, I, I enjoyed the uh, Beast Wars, the second Japanese series, and seen some of Beast Wars Neo. And um, this figure I actually saw, I almost bought it last week at Vintage Stock. I think they wanted maybe eight bucks, but it was minus 33%, and I decided, oh, I guess I can do without it. And good thing I waited because I found it for even less than that. Um, there was a dealer that had some action figures. I was looking at the ones on the floor in the big plastic tub. It said a dollar a piece, and I thought, this is a dollar? I better make sure. So I asked the fellow, and he said, one dollar, so heck yeah, I finally got it. I thought it was really, a really good deal. Optimus Primal, leader of the Maximals from the first Beast Wars series. Now, I'm not sure if he's complete. Well, I know that he's not, because I know he doesn't have his weapons. He's got, uh, I think he's got some kind of thing that's on just like a sword or something. And, uh, I don't know if it's him or Leo Convoy. He's got some like on their forearms. Uh, Leo Convoy, leader of the Maximals, in the, in the, he's a lion. In the uh, Beast Wars, the second series. So, anyway, you know, one of my favorite Transformers. That's cool. Just for a dollar. Pretty nice shape. Um, one thing I want to see if is it, this is the original. This is the original one, or I think they probably re-released it, but it doesn't matter. And there should be something on there about Hasbro or Takara. Yeah, I'm not gonna go looking all over. I thought maybe be on his feet. I don't know. Anywho. Couple of magazines that I bought. These were like a dollar a piece. You had a lot of older black and white magazines like Warren and well Warren stuff like Nick Rell and Erie. Um I think we had about a complete run of Howard the Duck. Not just the comics, but also the magazines. I didn't even know there was a Howard the Duck magazine. Um now here's something I already have. I have the uh, Deadly Hands of Kung Fu omnibus. I think it's volume one, which includes this. This is the uh, super annual issue, which I think they maybe only ever did one of. That was a dollar. It's a fun series. Not only do they do it like Shang Chi stories and Iron Fist and Brothers of the Tiger or some some other series, they also uh, talk about. Uh, well, they did it. Talked about the Kung Fu TV series, and we do it like movies. Here's uh, Five Things of Death, which I don't know what the heck happened in my DVD of that. It's a Shaw Brothers movie starring Lo Lee. Also for a dollar from that same vendor. We've got Bizarre Adventures, uh, number 33, which is, uh, I'm guessing, just reprints stories from. Uh, it's got Tomb of Dracula, Hunter of Horror, Tales of the Zombie, Vault of Evil. The photo cover on the back, we got that. Just some great black and white artwork. <clears throat> now, on to the comics. Um, one vendor there was gonna. He had a whole section of uh, sets, you know, comics all bundled together. Um, fifty percent off. Oh, before I get to that, you know, while I'm thinking of it, one thing I noticed that I was surprised to see is, uh, you know, on their some vendors have a thing in the back in the back behind the table where like more high value items are comics. 
first issue special, I think, is what the title is from DC. I don't remember what issue, but it's the first appearance of Warlord. Now, in one of my previous videos for a vintage stock, I think this was the vintage stock in Blue Springs. I went out there a couple of, it was either last month or the month before, which would have been either February or March of 2018. I found that, again, first issue special, whatever the hell it's called, it's the first appearance of Warlord. I found that in the vintage stock dollar box, so I got it for a dollar. It's certainly not mint, but it's not all beat to hell. It's, I'd say it's probably at least in very good, with fine condition. I don't know, like, I don't know what, uh, Great, what condition theirs is? I didn't ask to look at it. I just noticed the, pro the uh, price that they they, th they wanted for theirs. One hundred dollars. I thought, wow, I, I had no idea it was going for that much. It doesn't mean the one I have is is going for a hundred, but I didn't know that was such a. You know, uh, no idea it was going to go for that much. Now, from that guy that I was talking about that had the sets half off, I thought, oh, here's a good deal on a set that I really like. Superboy Grab Bag. Now, originally $10, I got all these for $5. It collects New Adventures of Superboy. Issue 1. I know I had at least two of these I actually already bought today. Well, but before I bought this, so I gave those to my brother. Yeah. Along with a few other comics, maybe three three other comics that, are, that, are his, that I bought today that are over at his house. I don't remember what they were. There was an Action Comics... Uh, it was the first appearance of the new Lex Luthor, like, after he gets, like, a, oh, it's kind of like a pseudo-armor, like, if that makes sense, it looks more like a, yeah, kind of like something that would have been designed by Tony Stark. It's also the first appearance of a new Brainiac, where he's, like, a cyborg. I can't remember what else I got for my brother there. Anyway, back to Superboy. Um, issues 1, 5, 12, 21, 22, 23, 26, 27, 28, 31, 32, 33, 34, 37, 40, 41, 43, 44, 45, Sorry, like an action, like an auctioneer. 45, 46, 49, 50, 52, 54, and not mentioned on the sticker. We also have. Oh, my mistake. It is. Yeah, that's issue 50. For some reason, I was thinking, I didn't realize this was an anniversary issue. I thought it was an annual. So, 25 comics for five bucks. Sure, how many issues this ran? I've got quite a lot of these. You would mention the Super Bowl. And the rest of these were. Oh, I think one guy he had a. Yeah, one guy had a three conks for a dollar. Of course, I saw that. I was like, oh, I'm at it. So all these were or somewhere between thirty-three cents or either they're thirty-three cents or fifty cents or a dollar. I don't know what's what. We got Hellblazer 256. Um, I think I said before that I was not really. I don't really need. A, okay, Hellblazer is one of my all-time favorite series. I've been a fan of Hellblazer since issue eight came out. That was around 30 years ago. Um, I was thinking of just getting sticking to the first 150 issues, but since it was only 33 cents, I figured, hey man, why not? Go ahead. And, We've got Jonah Hex issue 64. Kind of a bit rough, but I'll read it. I can remember seeing this advertised way back when I was a kid. I think I have two of these. This series didn't last very long. But here we have issue one of Time Warp, science fiction anthology series. One I had when I was when this uh, issue first came out, I ordered it. Um, New England Comics, maybe it's called American Comics. My original copy got all damaged, so here it is again. Punisher War Journal issue one. Call the Conqueror issue one. This I know this was a dollar. This is from the same guy that had the magazines. Oh, she had more of these. Issue 22 of the first man in the series. This might be the last issue, I don't know. This looks fun. Monsters on the Prowl, number one. DC Comics Presents, issue two. Superman, Superwoman. I don't know who the hell Superwoman is. 
Our Army at War, issue 224. Another New Adventures of Superboy. This is issue 2. New Adventures of Superboy, issue 50. My mistake, issue 47. New Adventures of Superboy, issue 19. Another one, issue 18. Yet another issue. 50. Three. Sergeant Rock Lost Battalion. I'm hoping this is the only one I needed. Five of six. I think I can probably finish that. A series I didn't even know existed. This might have only been this might have just been a one shot. I don't know. The end. So this might just be one one issue thing. One of my favorite characters in DC a fan Stranger. Another Hellblazer. Issue 215. Another one, issue 239. And yet another one, issue 213. Another Hellblazer, issue 214. This one I could not remember if I already have it or not. I don't have very many of these. It's a Judge Dredd series called Necropolis, and this is issue 9. Speaking of Dread, Love Dread, issue 16. Again, I'm, the thing I don't really like about these is sometimes it's possible that I already have these stores because you know, I think these are reprints. On yet another Hellblazer. Oh, 257. Well, that is that. I got I got so many comics here to read. This is down. Good thing there's not any other cons coming up for a while. <sighs> Don't ask me, because uh, next month Memorial Day weekend, I'm sure Vintage Stock will have another of their buy one get one free on all their back issues. So I'm gonna try going out hitting a couple of Vintage Stocks I've never been to. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.